Hello everybody, welcome back to our second vlog. I am Juan. Julianne. And this here is Miss Squirtle, Squirtle. Our special guest today. However, she's not gonna talk. She needs to stay in her spot though. I know, sorry, we're having a little trouble here. But anywho, <laughs> today we went to the doctor for our second visit. If you wanna speak on behalf while I fix her up. So we went to our second doctor's appointment today. And so basically, you don't get a picture, or like there's no ultrasound or anything, like picture wise, very sad. So I don't get to see the baby until 20 weeks, but that is okay. So there was a heartbeat and the heartbeat heart was like 155 beats per minute. So there's a little baby in there still. And then like the nurse was like, finding like the heartbeat and then all the sudden like when you jump into the pool and then makes a big splash it sounded like that because the baby was moving but i don't i don't feel anything but the baby's moving on the bright side and then i did the genetic testing today and then so you find out with that you find out like the gender of the baby and then to see if anything's wrong with the baby hopefully not but in two weeks hopefully depending how busy the labs are we'll find out the gender and we'll do a cute little gender reveal type of thing you should see what it is yeah boy or girl what it is okay anywho uh besides the doctor's visit today we are gonna reflect on what happened this whole year 2021 mm -hmm. a lot has happened this year <sighs> So let's go back to day one. Just kidding. Um, New Year's. No, more like January 9th. Let's go back in January. Back in January of last of this year. I forgot we're still in this year. January 2021 was a big moment for our life. And you guys can look back at the video. I put it back on my page as well. Um, but anywho, it was our wedding day. That's when my life changed forever, man. Oh, yeah. Anywho, um, the wedding was great. Um, it was during COVID moments. Um, so, I don't know. You want to explain the whole wedding process, like, briefly? Like what? In the beginning. Like, the process? Yeah. And then you got shut down. And Oh, well, yeah. So, we, uh, we originally had it booked at a golf, like, club. And then, so we had everything set, like the food tasting, the deposit down and whatever. But our lady was like, okay, like if anything happens with COVID, like if things get any worse, like we'll refund your money. Like we can reschedule your wedding, not a problem. But like we needed to get married on January 9th. Like that was like no rescheduling like whatsoever. So one day I was on my lunch. I was in the Taco Bell drive thru and I get a call from Desert Willow which was the golf resort that we, we were going to have our wedding at. She was like, unfortunately, we have bad news. Um, like, we're totally shut down. We don't have, we can't do any weddings or anything like that. So I was kind of in a bind because our wedding was going to be, like, super close. And there's no time for, like, replanning and things like that. So I called my wedding planner. She found us a kind of like a mansion kind of house big house i don't know why i want to consider it a mansion but like a big house and we had our wedding there so we kind of had to like rethink our theme and add a little couple more stuff but yeah yeah it was tough it was like oh well should we do it should we not should we wait should we this or that and the invites went out some people were denying it some people were accepting it you're like what am i gonna do it went from 100 down to 50 to 20 50 to down to 25 not even 25 <laughs> probably like 15 more like 20 last minute to like 15 people um i do appreciate that the people that do did come came um i appreciate it, it was obviously outdoors it was very safe um no we got covid thank god um for the people that did not show up or that were invited, I totally understand the reasons why. Some people I do not. Um, not gonna speak their names on behalf, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But anywho, the wedding was fun, and guess what? You missed out. So 
it is what it is. Um, but anyways, that was a great time in my life. Um, after that, what did we do? Oh, uh, yeah, I went to we Vegas oh, okay. for, for uh, our two days. Two days. Um, that was fun until I go on social media and I see that my grandma got a heart attack. Not the best part. Not the best timing at all. Um, to this day, I'm just like, ugh, because she called me on my wedding day and I am, I did not answer the phone. To this day, I regret it, but I can't be sad about it every day about it. I gotta move on. I'm sure she would want me to do the same. Um, I promise I would not cry on this vlog because I can't. <laughs> I can, but <laughs> I don't, I, I can't. <laughs> um, yeah, that was... That was tough. I was like, what the heck? I was like, oh man, I felt so bad. But I had a dream. She said, take care of yourself. Well, I had a dream that she was, um, how do I say this? She was, oh, she had a cart because she would always ride a cart, like when she do the laundry and stuff um, from the store. I don't, know, I don't know where she gets these carts from. But anyways, she had a cart. And then I think she had like some of my clothes and she, or she was just giving me some of my clothes because she used to give me that when I was living with her. And then she was she would say, Guida said, take care, take care of yourself. And then she disappeared. So, yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, Um. it sucked. And then her funeral, I was there. <sighs> it was sad, but I know she's in a better place and um, it's all good, but my grandma was always open with her opinions and she didn't really care how she spoke or who she spoke about. So guess what? I'm going to speak on her. I'm going to speak because I have my own opinion as well. All I got to say is certain people or certain person should be ashamed of themselves for being there who spoke highly negative about her all the time. I even got the phone call that said, oh yeah, she was drunk. And then when she called you during your wedding day, how do I know that for a fact? I don't, but even if she was, I don't really give two Fs um, about that. Um, but whatever, I guess. Um, no, they shouldn't have been there, but what am I gonna do to stop it? I guess, oh well. Yeah, so funeral was there. That happened. Um, she got laid to rest. Bless her soul. Um, always pray for her. Uh, one day I'll see her. But I gotta live my life. Keep going. Keep striving. By the way, our baby's supposed to be due July 6th. Who knows? It might be due July 3rd, which is her birthday. So who knows what happened? Might happen. be 4th of July, baby. It might be 4th of July. But who knows, we'll see. Let's just hope my water doesn't break at work. Cause I have to work until I pop, which sucks. I'm paid. Oh yeah, but to rewind back, back to January, in the middle of January, we decided to leave California and move out here to Wisconsin. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be honest, you better not get mad. Nothing to mad. I'm gonna uh, be honest. <laughs> um, the first week I was like, what in the heck did I get myself into here? Here, and I was like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> oh man, I was like, I, is there any way I can get out of this? Sorry, I dropped something. Uh, is there any way I can get out of this, uh, easily and... I was like, I don't know. Um, he was like, huh? low key gonna leave me. I was like, can I get out of this? <laughs> um, just because, I don't know, because you wouldn't listen to me <laughs> on I'm some of the stubborn. advice, on some of the advices I would give, um, which I was like, well, if this is a marriage, how are you gonna like, at least take my advice or at least some of my advice and learn, not learn, but like, like, listen, like the heck, I'm giving you good advice and you're not taking it. So I was like, if you're not listening to me, then what's the point of me being here? So I was like, oh man, 
But as the months went on, it's good. I'm good. <coughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're perfect. <laughs> We're great. Okay, nobody's perfect. Okay, we're <laughs> semi-perfect. <laughs> no, we're good. Everything's good. Um, anywho, yeah, we moved to Wisconsin. I was like, oh, uh, well, what am I doing here? It's cold. It's negative two. It's snowing. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do here. It's different here. Um, Job-wise, it kind of, it was, it sucked. I'm going to be honest with you, it sucked. I left a good paying job, maybe sucky job, but good paying job um to move over here to get paid um but <laughs> um it's okay i'm honestly i come home not stressed i get to home get clock out and just not worry about anything um so i'm pretty happy where i stand right now where i work um i get to learn a different aspect of business whereas not learning that type of other business so i get to venture out um and do other things um yeah, you want to speak on your what my dad. career path? <laughs> so since I've moved here in January, I've had um, three jobs. So I went back to the rental car business. And however, in Palm Springs, it was corporate corporate owned. Not right. Yes, corporate owned. And then uh, here in Wisconsin, it was independently owned. So I thought it was going to be like a lot more laid back, more like... You know, we're going to have cars to give out to people. Like, we don't have to struggle as bad. But, honey, it was bad. So, like, I get the whole point of, like, staying for delayed flights and stuff like that. But my manager, like, literally treated me like, like poop. Like, made me feel really guilty of everything that I did. And because I had, like, a probation period, like, 90 days, I would be a lead. And then after the 90 days of being a lead, I would become a manager and have become the manager of like the airport and stuff like that and that's what I originally wanted but it just got like really bad and I was like I don't know if I want to sit here and like be like him in California you're stressed out honey oh yeah <laughs> you're stressed out so I don't want to be like that because it's like it's like <sighs> when we were when, like planning to have families like do I want to work holidays do I want to like work nights do I want to like not be home with like my kid and when that does happen so i decided to leave and venture out into something i never thought i was gonna do so i started working out of like eye doctor's office semi semi eye doctor's office not official oh, sorry 7.2 sorry <laughs> okay go ahead um and so i started working as a receptionist out of the eye doctor's office and i really did like it like i've always wanted to work in like kind of like a medical setting and then my coworker, she was a technician for like doing like the pre-testing for like the eyes and stuff. And she's like, I need to train you because I'm going to be leaving. And I was like, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to do it. Like, cause I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to touch people's eyeballs. I don't want to like tell them they got something. Like, I don't want nothing to do with that. But I ended up doing it and actually like really, really liked it. And then I left because... I was low-key underpaid. And I ventured out to another eye doctor's office. And which is like really more official. Like they do eye surgeries and everything like that. And I do a lot more work. Which is fine. It's fine. I do a lot more work. But um, I get paid more. I'm like up on my feet more. Like I'm learning like so much more. Like things about the eyes. Like diseases and stuff like that. So it's like really cool. But I plan to stay there for a while. So I don't think I'm leaving. <laughs> I just realized there was a draft back there. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's a little brief version of our work history here. Um, it's pretty it's pretty laid back, honestly. Um, I do wish I feel like the people here are underpaid based off what how much stuff has gone up over the past year, but I don't make the rules on who gets paid how much. So like I said, is what it is. <laughs> um we're gonna else we're gonna talk so march april may woo you want to talk about may briefly may yeah what happened in may my birthday uh, my parents <laughs> oh yes so so my parents ended up getting covid and my mom got covid in spin class and he was actually with her 
at spin class, but he tested negative. My mom ended up testing positive for COVID. And, you know, she stayed at home and then we stayed at a hotel for like a couple days. And my mom called me at like 4 a.m. She's like, Juliana, like, I really cannot breathe. Like, you need to take me to the hospital. And I was like, okay, on my way. So like mask up everything, put gloves on, have her in my car, take her to the emergency room. They admitted her, put her into a COVID room. Like she did really, really good. But then my dad, he ended up getting it. He's a little bit more dramatic than my mom, but he was still sick. So my dad actually got it like a lot worse. He was in the hospital for what, like a month? Yeah, for, like, like, the longest month of my life. Like, with COVID <sighs> and um, he ended up getting sepsis, which is like a bacteria in your blood that makes you go downhill fast. And we thought he was gonna go to heaven. And I thought he was gonna die because he was really, really bad. But he stayed in a hospital for like a month and then he did like, he went to a nursing home for like another month. <laughs> and he slowly recovered and now they're all better. So hopefully nothing else happens. Cause I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna have to like, yes, I moved here to take care of you, but God, I need you to keep you up on your feet because you're not, I mean, you're old, but you're not that old. Like, stay up on your feet a little bit. Wow. <sighs> um, okay. Uh, I, well, for the rest of the months, um, they've all been good so far. We've taken trips to Chicago, South Dakota. Minnesota. Minnesota, Mall Minneapolis, America. Mall of America. Uh, we, took a trip. we took a trip back to California. That was fun. Okay. Um <laughs> Also, I forgot how long, seven, eight days, spend too much money, but it is what it is over there. And then I took another trip back to California, Northern California, and see my sisters up to Northern Cal, hanging out there, went to Napa. That was fun. That was really exciting. They actually came down here to do a race with me on her. Actually, you didn't really you I, didn't, I just walked. I ain't going to run. We did a 10K. <laughs> um, that was really fun. Um, and then we all hang down in Chicago. That was really fun, too. Um. So yeah, this year has been very, how do you say this, fun, but how do you say? it's been a roller coaster, honestly. A roller coaster, fun, a roller coaster, sad, different emotions. Um, but overall, we ended up um, making it, making it, <laughs> making it through this year. Um, everybody's healthy. I'm healthy. I always weigh two fourteen this year. I don't know what the heck she thought. Like letting me get at that weight. I do. I haven't gotten that weight maybe since I was like, oh, probably like in any of my high school year. I don't know <coughs> what the heck. I see old videos. I'm like, oh, why did I let myself get like this? Um. So I have to tell him if he's fat now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I tell him, honey, you're gaining weight. I'm I mean, lose some weight. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, no. Everybody's perfect in their own way. If you don't feel comfortable, obviously just. No, obviously, but if you don't feel comfortable, talk to somebody or just try to find motivation to, um, I don't know, work out or just whatever makes you happy, I guess. Um, if you can't work out due to certain factors and just push yourself to do something that you can do. Um, you can be small, active, you can just walk in, who cares? Um, but anyways, yeah, I just worked out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I still continue to work out a lot, a lot, a lot. Because <sighs> I can't get back to where it was. Um, He's going to be 29. Yeah, I'll be 29 in two weeks, close to 30. Oh. Um, that should be funny. Um, anyways, yeah. So this year, again, roller coaster of different emotions. Good, happy, sad. Um, however, we stuck through it. I'm looking forward to next year. Baby next year, baby room, baby decoration, baby, 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 baby. Everything's gonna be about baby. <laughs> Pretty much. More, no more attention for me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, you will, but it's supposed <laughs> to be about baby, 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 baby. It's totally fine. Um, but anyways, I'm looking forward to next year. And... We're gonna be married for one year. Oh yeah. In like two weeks. Married for one year and two weeks. Crazy how time flies. But anyways, that is my second vlog. Um, I know it's 19 minutes going on to 20 minutes, but you guys can watch it, enjoy it. 
Um, I don't know how to fix this comment stuff on there. I'm still brand new to this. As you can see, I'm like all over the place still. And You're better than last time. And, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I'll get better at this. I'm just basically sharing my life the way I am. I'm clumsy like this. So let's <laughs> let's go on to 2022 with a good year. He doesn't count 2020 because oh, yeah. he thinks he we've only been together two years. And Alrighty, we're gonna people. go. We're gonna get one three. Peace out. To our next vlog. Peace. Squirrel says peace. Peace. We should have thrown his hands. Peace. Uh, we're still not being oh. seen. <laughs> okay, goodbye, people. Bye.